Hey, what's up, guys? It's XX Modern Warfare Gamer Tab Banjo Chicken here, and welcome to JTAG Tutorials Episode 7. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up uh, emulators on your JTAG so you can play all the old original Mario, uh, you know, Nintendo games, Sega games, and of course, uh, arcade games. So, for this tutorial, I was only going to show you how to install SNES 360, which I think is pretty much the most common emulator. It's been around for quite a while on the JTAG. Um, but I have had a few requests to do MAME 360 as well, so I'll be doing that in this tutorial also. So first of all, you're going to have to download the emulator. Again, all the links you'll need for everything will be in the description of this video, so just go and click it. Um, now, MAME 360 allows you to play all the old arcade games, like the old... Um, you know, big machines that you'd normally find in an arcade, say, 10, 20 years ago. Probably longer than 10 years ago, but, um, you know, all the old machines where you have to, like, insert coin and all that. So, that's MAME 360, and SNES 360 allows you to play all the old Sega games and Nintendo games from, like, the 1980s till the early 2000s. So, uh, basically, we will be showing you how to install those. They just run off... Um, an XCX, so you can launch them through XCX Menu or Freestyle Dash. There's also a PlayStation 1 emulator and a Nintendo 64 emulator which run off Zell. I won't be showing you that in this tutorial because I've already made a tutorial about that quite a long time ago. So I'll link that in the description as well if you want to find out more about that. But for this video, we'll just be doing MAME 360 and SNES 360. So basically, all the links that you'll need will be in here. Uh, for the different emulators. There's a ton of different types of emulators uh, in here. We're going to be using SNES, so find SNES and copy this link and download that. I might just put... No, I'll put, I'll put the link to this whole post in the description because there's lots of uh, emulators in here. You can also download big ROM packs that have like thousands of games on them, like uh, this one here. I'll link this in the description. It's literally thousands and thousands of games for SNES 360. And you can also download the ROMs individually if it's just one game you're after. You can just download them individually from coolroms.com or freeroms.com, places like that. will also be linked in the description. So, and also, of course, MAME 360, download here. So once you have everything downloaded, uh, we'll start off with SNES 360 to begin with. This is the easiest thing to do. Um, create a new folder on your desktop, call it SNES 360. And extract everything from the WinRAR archive into the folder. Now for games, you put all your game files that you download from coolroms.com or wh wherever. Uh, you put them in the ROMs folder. So I've got a bunch of Mario Kart, uh, Super Mario Kart, uh, ROMs here, so I'm just going to copy all those in. So there we go. And we can now transfer this over to the JTAG. Uh, before we do that though, I'll show you how to install uh, MAME 360. So download MAME 360 from the link in the description, open up this. You get these two folders, extract them both to the desktop. Alright, so MAME 360 folder, and here's the emulator. That'll go on your hard drive. This folder here goes in the root of a USB stick, and all your ROMs go in here. They go in uh, MU's, MAME, and then uh, ROMs. And your ROMs go in here. And let me find a ROM that I downloaded. Okay, so I've downloaded a ROM. So, I'm just going to extract this to the desktop. So, with MAME 360, the ROMs that you download will be in zip files. Do not extract them, just put the zip files in the ROMs folder. And what you want to do is... You're going to have to put this on a USB stick, this folder. It has to be in the root of a FAT32 formatted device, so that's a USB stick. Copy, replace, oh, what the hell is it doing? Uh, 
Right, okay, so once you have the MUSE folder in the root of a USB stick or a FAT32 formatted external device of some kind, um, you want to then transfer the MAME360 and the SNES360 over to your hard drive. Normally I would use FTP for this, but since we have to um, put, do the MUSE folder anyway, it has to be on a USB stick, I'm just going to transfer these over to a USB stick instead. But obviously if you've been watching episode 6 then FTP would be the preferred choice unless you've got a hell of a lot of uh, games and stuff which are over a gigabyte then it's probably faster using a USB stick in those certain conditions so now we'll go over to the comp uh, not the computer, we'll now go over to the Xbox and show you what you have to do from there okay so once you are on the Xbox, what you want to do is go over to XCX menu and copy the MAME360 folder onto your hard drive. You can leave it on your USB stick if you want to run it off the USB. Uh, it's up to you, but I always copy it over to the hard drive. And I've created a folder called emulators where I'm going to put all my emulators in. and copy SNES emulator over as well. Paste that in. And we leave uh, the MUSE folder on your USB stick in the root. Don't touch that folder. Uh, leave it where it is. Uh, if you move it anywhere, it's not going to work. So you can now literally just start the emulators from XCX menu, but I like to show you how to add it into Freestyle Dash because it looks better and seeing as how we automatically boot our console up into Freestyle Dash anyway, um, it's more convenient for it for to be able to just launch it from Freestyle Dash in the emulators section because at the moment nothing shows up. So what we need to do is add a game path. So we go to settings, content settings, manage game paths, press Y to add a game path, choose emulator underneath homebrew and then change path, locate where you put the emulators in. So oops, wrong place, uh, emulators, do MAME 360 first, press Y in the directory. You can also just press Y here and it will do both of them. Um, rather than doing them each individually but if you have loads and loads and loads and loads of like emulators which you probably won't um, but if you do sometimes it can cause freestyle dash to crash um, but just two should be okay so once we've done that we put the scan depth what it is so we put it on three because it has to go in three folders to access the contents of the each emulator so it's scan depth on three press x to save and now when we go to emulators we have MAME 360 and uh, of course SNES 360 so I'll show you MAME 360 first uh, just to prove that the um, I can load up ROMs so play game get this nice little menu and there's my ROM that I put on um, Spider-Man the video game world. So I'll just start that up to show you quickly. Do, do, do. Just put the left joystick left and right and here we go. Playing Spider-Man. Insert coin. So there you go. Um, that proves that that's booting up fine. I can run old games, <laughs> can run the old arcade games. So now I'll show you SNES 360. Uh, hopefully load up a ROM on that. So back on Freestyle Dash, emulators, choose SNES. There we go, it's a nice cover on there. And games, ooh, music, okay. Um, and we've got three Mario Karts for some reason. Let's launch up Mario Kart. Launch Super Mario Kart. That's pretty cool. God, this music's loud. Uh, 
Uh, this is just hilarious. Anyway, um... Oh, what? Oh, I speed hacked it. Yeah, you can, on SNES 360, you can speed hack by holding down the right trigger and everything goes into crazy mode. But, uh, anyway, this music's driving me nuts. Hold on, let me... My ears are safe. Anyway, um, so that's basically how you install emulators on your JTAG or Reseclitch hack console. It's um, it's pretty fun, and there's loads of emulators out there now, um, including the PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64 one, which will be linked in the description if you want to check those out. So thanks for watching JTAG Tutorials Episode 7, and please, please stay tuned to Episode 8, where I'll be showing you how to configure Freestyle Dash so that you can add skins, um, add game paths, uh, t -t 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 use all the functions like set up weather function and uh, download covers and get link set up for connecting online. So please stay tuned for that and the tutorial after that will finally get on to unlocking DLC, um, getting DLC working on your RGH or Recycler chat console. So thanks for watching and please stay tuned into my next video. This is really how we live.